This is a wonderful portrait. It was given to the Dulwich College by William Cartwright in 1686. Now, Cartwright was an actor, and his father was an actor too, also called William Cartwright. William Cartwright Sr. was a friend of Edward Allen, and Edward Allen was the gentleman who founded Dulwich College. He too was an actor. They were all actors together. The extraordinary thing about William Cartwright's gift to the college was that it comes with a handwritten catalogue, really just a list identifying the paintings. This painting has always been identified with an entry in that list in Cartwright's handwriting, which basically says, Master Field, his picture, in a shirt. This is a shirt and a half. And so, although there are other pictures of men in shirts, this is the shirt par excellence with all this wonderful black stitching. And so it's always been identified as Nathan Field. Now, Nathan Field is an important actor in his own right. A rather interesting character. He was the son of a Puritan minister, John Field, who um, absolutely abominated all kind of theatrical entertainment, but had died a long time before. And Nathan, as a child, was impressed, in other words, rather like a press gang, into a theatrical troupe. And he acted as a child and carried on in that career right to the end of his life. Later on, he became a playwright. What I love about this painting is that it's the best of the actor portraits that uh, Cartwright gave. It's incredibly rare, and I think it impresses as what an actor ought to look like. I would go further and say, isn't this what William Shakespeare ought to have looked like? Interestingly enough, Nathan is listed in the first folio by Shakespeare as an actor. So possibly Nathan was a, an early Romeo, and that's what Romeo ought to look like. The fascinating thing for me is that, of course, all of these attributions are, are supposition. We can't be sure that this is Cartwright's portrait of Nathan Field. It's the one that seems most likely. But at the back of my mind, I always think, by a curious irony, because William Cartwright Sr. knew Edward Allen and Edward Allen knew William Shakespeare and they were all actors and playwrights together. Funnily enough, Dulwich Picture Gallery is one of the few places on earth where you would be legitimate in searching for the great missing portrait of William Shakespeare. So at the back of my mind, I just wonder, could this actually be Shakespeare? Probably not, is the answer. But I'm fascinated. One of the interesting portraits of Shakespeare, done many years later, 30 or 40 years after his death by Gerard Soust. Obviously, he'd never seen Shakespeare, but people who knew Shakespeare were still alive, and they pointed him, allegedly, at a person who looked like William Shakespeare. And so his portrait is actually reasonably Accurate. You can assume that this is someone who actually looked like Shakespeare. Well, Gerard Seuss's portrait looks rather like Nathan Field. I think finally, though, I have to throw my hands up and give up. Because looking at this portrait, I can tell really that it's probably best dated around the middle of the second decade of the 17th century. Probably about 1616, something like that, which just so happens to be the date that Shakespeare died. So, this man's too young. Also, he's not bald, and he doesn't look like a bank manager. Oh, well, so much for that theory. Nathan, it remains, but a wonderful image. Really, a really excellent image of an actor from the earliest, earliest period that we know. Mm -hmm.